Drones, very helpful in war against the enemy. The unmanned spy planes our military uses in Afghanistan and Iraq to keep murderers from doing more murdering. But they may soon be here at home over us. Congress, that Congress you love so much, just passed a bill which the president is expected to sign into law. It orders the Federal Aviation Administration to come up with new regulations to test and license drone aircraft for use in American airspace by the year 2015. The agency officials say, get how, guess how many? 30,000 of them could be ready to launch by 2020. 30,000. Critics say the drones do pose risks and to public safety and personal privacy. Catherine Harris is live in Washington with the details. Catherine, the supporters argue this technology will help them in a lot of ways, but I mean, can anybody see a downside here? Well, some people do, Shepard. Um, just to give you some context, most drones are unarmed, and they can be used for surveillance to establish a suspect's daily routine or what law enforcement calls a pattern of life. In Iraq, for instance, we use them to track down bomb factories, but in that case, you would basically backtrack uh, the people who emplaced the bomb to the factory that it came from. While Homeland Security currently uses drones on the border, the question really is whether the department is reportedly investigating other options now. Well, I don't know the, the reports to which you refer, but right now we use and are using the UAVs along the borders, and they are a force multiplier for us. While a spokesman did not expand on the secretary's comments, these documents from Homeland Security's procurement office show they are soliciting industry input for something called wide area aerial surveillance. Quote, to provide persistent long-term surveillance over urban and rural terrain. And as you mentioned, under new legislation, the FBA is, F, FAA rather, is being ordered to drop these new regulations so that we can have commercial drones in place by 2015. And what we're seeing is resistance already. If our skies become full of surveillance drones, it's possible that from the moment that you walk out of your home in the morning until you return at night um, or enter another building, that your every movement will be tracked by this unseen eye in the sky. And here's really the key thing uh, here, Shepard. The FAA says it's committed to safely integrating drones into the nation's airspace, but critics say there is really nothing in this new legislation that actually addresses the privacy issues, Shepard. Catherine Harridge live in Washington with 30,000 force multipliers. <laughs> Fascinating.